Now that you've opened up the MakerBot Replicator Mini Reference Guide, I'm going to show you the first electronic tool that will help us as we navigate the document, and that's going to be bookmarking. Right away when you open the document, you might see that it's actually in some ridiculous zoom level. You can change that either by adding a numerical value here or by using the plus and minus keys to the left. I like using it at 100%, uh, so I can typically see one whole page on the screen at a time, but you can do that based on what's most comfortable for you. I'm going to scroll down, and right away I'm going to find a table of contents, which is an important part of this document. And I'm going to use the bookmarking tool to bookmark some important parts of the document. So I'm going to use this tool right here, bookmarks. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new bookmark. I'm going to highlight the table of contents and press the new bookmark button. And then I can change the name to whatever I like, but table of contents works just fine. The next part of the document that's going to be very important for us is this part here about the MakerBot Replicator Mini, and that's on page 9. Well, I'm going to come up here and go straight to page 9 by putting 9 in here and pressing Enter. And I'm at this section now. I'm going to be referencing this section during the close reading, so I'm going to go ahead and make a bookmark for that as well. Then I can quickly go back to the table of contents using my first bookmark. Now you can decide what parts of this document might be really important, but I suggest that you make bookmarks for troubleshooting, glossary, and printing from MakerBot Desktop. So I've created my table of contents and my bookmarks on the left hand side of the screen, and I've clicked on the About the MakerBot Replicator Mini bookmark to come to this page. I'm going to show you briefly how to use the highlighting feature. I can do that in one of two ways. I have it docked up here in the top part of the toolbar. I can also access it from the comment section here on the right hand side. If I right click on the highlighting tool, I can click on tool default properties and change some of the properties like the color and the opacity. If I want to highlight something, I simply click on the highlighting tool and then I click and drag and when I release, it'll be highlighted. As I do so, it'll keep a record of all the things I've done over here, and I can delete them very easily by clicking and pressing the delete key. If I want to change a different color, I can simply click the color option, find a new color, and highlight as normal. Now we're going to discuss two more tools, the find tool and the commenting tool. Let's start with the commenting tool. It's pretty easy. I click the comment tool, I come over to a part of the document I want to comment on, and I simply click. And two things will happen. I'll have this little icon indicating there is a comment, and then I'll have the connection where I actually write the comment itself. I can move both of them independently of each other. So I can move this down to this part of the page, I can move this up here, and they'll still be connected. If the comment itself goes away, I can simply double click here to have the comment pop back up. It also shows up over here on the right hand side along with my highlighting. The Find tool is very easy. If I press Control F, I bring up the Find bar. This will work in almost any computer program, by the way, Windows especially. So Word, the Internet, this is the quickest way to find a specific word or phrase in any kind of document. So for example, if I want to go to the glossary and I want to learn more about PLA filament, I can enter it into the bar and press enter, and it will find all the instances of PLA filament. I can click the arrows to find the next one, and it will keep going throughout the document. This works for any term. This is the fastest way to find an answer about a very specific topic in the document. 